always do is I kind of use the uh, the Instagram live as a way of like giving people a preview, okay. uh, and then I overlay the audio from this to the actual video after for like a more a better sound. You know what I mean? Right. To put okay. a face to it and everything. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, so lightning round. These are actually so brand new lightning round questions. So this is going to be lots of fun. These are submitted by the listeners and everything like that. Oh, wow. And they're just okay. everyone knows that you have not seen these questions before. They're just kind of ten fun little random questions uh, about you. Okay. 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 Cool. So one accomplishment you would like to achieve in the next year. In the next year. Okay. Well, I have signed up uh, this coming summer uh, for a half Ironman. So, oh, wow. uh, so I've done, I've done a, a number of, uh, like marathons and triathlons, but I haven't, haven't ever done a half Iron, Ironman. So a half Ironman is double the length of an Olympic triathlon. Wow. Uh, so yeah. So How that, long is that? uh, so, uh, well, Olympic triathlon is like a kilometer and a half of swimming, yes. 40 kilometers of biking and 10 kilometers of running. So half Ironman is though it's a two and a bit of swimming and then 80 of biking and then, uh, then a half marathon at the end. Wow. So yeah, so I'm doing that in, in uh, July. Amazing. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, do you have one that's like your favorite of the three? Like, are you like a big runner? I'm a big, runner. Yeah. A runner. Okay, yeah. Cool. I find, yeah. I find that like the swimming, the first like two minutes of the swimming is like diving into a dishwasher, right? Yeah, like it's good. just all legs and arms Runs and this, like yeah. you're like going to drown for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> diving into a dishwasher. <laughs> I like that. Uh, okay. Question number two. What is one item you would like to have an unlimited supply of? Oh, uh, an unlimited supply of? Um, uh, okay. I, uh, for, uh, Christmas, uh, my, uh, Holly, my wife bought me a record player. Oh, nice. And, and so I pulled out like my records from yeah. like my collection that I had, like when I was a teenager. So I would love to get more, uh, more records, more yeah. records, more LPs for Amazing. sure. <laughs> That's a great one. Uh, so I always have this one red, red plaid shirt that I bring on contract. It's just like my classic <laughs> lumberjack look. Uh, what is one article of clothing that you pack every single time you go away? Uh, I, uh, I, I have a lot of vests. Yeah. I wear, oh, I, cool. yeah, I wear, I wear a vest often. Sweet. You <laughs> like don't jeans, see a lot. jeans yeah. and a vest. Yeah. It's a great look. It's kind of like a onesie vibe. A <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so what was one movie you think needs to be turned into a musical or play? Oh, uh, well, uh, I know, I know there's been a couple of like failed attempts at turning the princess bride into a musical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, I still think that that would be genius in, yeah. the, in the right hands. Like, Definitely. and I know that there, there's another version that they're working on right now, but that's, that's a thing that I think if somebody gets that right, that is going to be gold. That's going to go. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, after time away from work. So this is actually kind of, you were just away with Matilda and everything yeah. like that time away from work. What's the first thing you do when you get home? Uh, first thing I do when I get home, it, it like, uh, at see my children. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. um, so yeah, like it, it's trying, you know, trying to remind them of, uh, of who I am. Cool. And yeah. Connect me? with them yeah. again. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, cool. What is uh, one silly habit you'd like to break? Uh, one silly habit. Um, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, gesture really frenetically with my hands when I talk. So great I for a podcast. <laughs> yeah. So like the microphone goes around Amazing. Right, like, like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, cool. If you could pick one band or artist and make a musical out of their music, who would it be? Ben Folt. Ben Folt. I know that. Oh, he's, um, like a composer, right? <laughs> yeah. Like he, like he had a band called Ben Folt's five, cool. um, uh, back like late nineties, early two thousands. And yeah. And he's like a sort of like alternative rock guy, but, uh, um, uh, also like a piano yeah. Uh, composer. Yeah. He's, is he, is, I thought, I feel like I've seen a video of him composing a song in 10 minutes, like live yeah, in front of an audience. Yeah. That's his kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally. He seemed really cool. You had that one ready to go. Yep, You're totally. a big Ben Folds fan. <laughs> I am. Yeah. yeah. And he actually like, he's a, like American guy, but he was, uh, he was in Edmonton for a concert like last year. And so I convinced him to come like to oh, the cool. Citadel and like look around and that kind of thing. So, but he's like, he's one of those guys that, yeah, I've just always been a big, he really writes, cool. he writes, you know, very, um, storytelling songs that could be easy to see how they would, yeah. would fit on stage. That makes sense. Very, very cool. Uh, okay. So what is the last series album or podcast that you binged? Um, uh, series album or podcast. Uh, um, we watched, uh, uh, this was like last year, but we watched this, uh, uh, British, uh, series called the detectorists, okay. which was like, uh, uh <laughs> the tall skinny guy from the British office, 
Um, oh, uh, and it was, it was these two, uh, guys that like walked around like metal detecting and <gasps> like, like looking for tre- like treasure. And it was like, it's that sort of great sort of British, like super sad, yeah. lonely, but kind of really hilarious kind of like, yeah. so yeah. It's its own world for sure. Yeah. yeah. There's that very specific, it's a very specific style. Talk yeah. about finding your niche for sure. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> very cool. Um, not that it wasn't great the first time, but what show would you love another crack at? That I would, would I love to direct again? Yeah. Um, oh, uh, uh, or if you want to go back and do that one man show in Australia, you can do <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, I never, <laughs> no, I don't get it. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I like pro- probably because we, the, like, I'm thinking about it now that we talked about it, yeah. but like, like into the woods, yeah. like, you know, because it was like 20 years, 20 mm-hmm. years ago that I directed it. And, uh, and you know, I like, uh, I still think that story has got so much to it. And I think I could bring a lot to it now, 20, 20 years later. Definitely. And I love, I mean, I think one of the marks of a great show is the show that keeps being relevant no matter how the climate changes. Like when it's talking about something so beautifully human and real. And then also, yeah, when you can step away from something and know that there's always more to mine. And I think a lot of those great Sondheim shows and stuff, there's always, if you keep digging, there's always going to be more. Yeah. yeah. yeah totally. um, cool. So what is the first movie quote that comes to your head? <laughs> I just like forgot every movie yeah, every ever. Movie ever. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> because uh, I guess it's cheating because it would be the same answer, but because I, I said, I said the princess bride earlier. Now I can't stop thinking inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yeah, maybe I should switch. I still got to figure the new questions. So I got to figure out the order of these. Uh, cool. And then last one. This is, it's actually eleven. So this is a bonus question. Oh, all right. um, oh this is kind of an interesting one because this would take you just as a random one back all the way back to uh, kind of if you were performing or doing that kind of thing, or maybe maybe even just in terms of a show that you wouldn't want to be involved in. What's a show that you love or you really have a, a place in your heart for, but that you don't necessarily think it would be something you would want to be involved in so something you like to watch from afar, something I like to watch from afar. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like, I like, uh, like I'm really, I'm really compelled by like, um, by, by circus, like, yeah. like, like circus in like the circ sense in the like aerial arts and that kind of thing. Like that's not, it's not a, that's not a skill I have <laughs> at all. Yeah, um, but like, I'm really like story, physical storytelling like that, that like, um, that where people can literally fly through the air, like that kind of that. Yeah. I'm very cool. drawn to that. Well, I think it's all, yeah, it speaks to, I mean, plays offer a way of sharing an experience or a story and musicals do it and Cirque does it in its own way too. Yeah. And it is cool that like something like that Pippin that happened on Broadway or yeah, different yeah. shows yeah. that are happening that are just like, yeah, how can this be used? If we stop talking about this being circus and this being a musical and this being that, just how are we going to best tell the story in whatever structures we want to use? Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, you have just completed the lightning round. I did it. Amazing <laughs> job. Uh, I'm just going to go shut off the okay. uh, Insta Live and then we'll uh, finish up. Okay.